body will be placed in the foyer of the House of Commons, making the ninth place ever to be accorded with honor. The gold military funeral will be held in Vancouver on August 13th. Now we will take a break and be back with the evening traffic. Hi. Oh, thank you. Have a seat. Kyle, Jalen, Jalen, Kyle. Jalen, you play nice. I'll be right back. What's going on, little man? So you got your game skills down, Pack. You might have your hands full once. I'll pick up the control, little man. Put it back. Keep your hands on my mama. Keep your hands on my Doritos. Jalen, are you playing nice? Oh, this is so boring. This is stories. Make a good newspaper a great newspaper. Good reporter, star reporter. Today's episode pays special tribute to a Canadian war veteran, Ernest Smith. Finally, I graduated. It's my chance to leave New Westminster. I'll look for a job. I could be anything I want. A lumberjack, a doctor, a fisherman, a miner, or even a farmer. I've got big dreams for myself. I thought it'd be easy to search for a job. Me and my friends? We're young and able to work. Why won't anyone hire us? I've gone weeks without getting paid now. What am I supposed to do? No one is hiring and everyone is fighting to get jobs at the factory. I never get any work shit. I can't rely on my pants for long. There must be some other way to earn money. The Canadian Army? They're recruiting? Oh, wow, this is going to be easy money. I was always pretty athletic. I can do this. I can earn a huge load of cash, come out alive, and spend the rest of my life in early retirement. How wonderful. What will happen next? Tune in tomorrow at the same time and find out. I'm Polly Pocket. Want to see what's new? Really fun compacts just for you. Polly Pocket has stick. In the newspaper world, it's the truth. It's truth and stories that make a good newspaper a great newspaper. Good reporters, scholar reporters. In the motoring world, it's the truth is carbon fighting. Enlisted as a private in the Seaforth Highlanders of Canada, Smith and his fellow comrades were sent to Italy to fight from 1943 to 1944 in an attempt to liberate Sicily. During the fight for River Savio, located in North Italy, another Canadian unit, the Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry, was sent to establish a bridgehead. Unknowingly, they walked right into a Nazi ambush. It was up to the Highlanders to get up there and relieve their combat. They swam across the Savio in the middle of the night during torrential rainstorm, knowing that the Germans would not suspect such an attempt. The rain had caused the river to rise six feet in five hours, and the soft, vertical banks made it impossible to take tanks and anti-tank guns across the raging stream. Caught off guard, the Germans were captured by Smith and his team. Evidently, the Nazis counteract. While laying motionless in a small ditch, a troop of three Mark V Panther tanks with two self-propelled guns rolled up in Smith's direction. The situation seemed hopeless. The soldiers saw him and fired several machine guns along the ditches, wounding the soldier next to him. Using a PIAT anti-tank launcher at a range of 10 meters while exposed to the full view of the enemy, Smith fired his weapon with accuracy, exploding the Panther tank. While the Germans ran towards them with submachine guns blazing, Smith protected the wounded man while holding his position and destroying yet another tank. Without hesitation, he moved out on the road with the gun, killing four Germans and driving the remainder back. Immediately, another tank opened fire while more German infantry closed in on him. With the enemy still opening fire, Smith pulled his friend back to safety, carrying him to get medical attention at a nearby building. Finally, the Germans gave up and withdrew. As a result, the battalion was able to secure the bridgehead position 
so vital to the success of the whole operation. Oh, I was so bad. <laughs> 